It's Honorable Milton Komori. I'm the outgoing child president of the Senate. I'm a scholar at Victoria High School. I'm not doing upper six. I'm in the commercial department. Um, I was elected at first when I was in Form 3. I was doing my Form 3 at Kweko High School, that was in Kweko constituency. I managed to become the child senator for Kweko constituency for, for a period from 2010 to 2011. And then I came here to Mashingo where I studied my A-level studies as a lower state student at Victoria High School. Then I was also elected to become the child senator for Mashingo constituency. We went to Harare where we had elections. I managed to become the president of the state church. When you're not a leader, you tend to point fingers like, why can they do this, why can they do this? But when you're in the office, you tend to understand some of the things that these people do or what leaders do. They do this for a purpose. It's not because they want to achieve everything that we all want, but we cannot achieve everything. So that's why they do some things. They look for the things which are best. They always do things in the best interest of us all as Zimbabweans. I remember during my term of office, is, some would like to call it a controversial issue, where I was say, asking or lobbying for condoms to be put in high schools. Yeah, some might think it's wrong, but personally I was just standing for the rights of my fellow young people. I was speaking on their behalf, knowing what was happening on the ground. Most people didn't know what was going on, on the ground. So I was just speaking on behalf of my ambitions as a young person is to become a leader one of the authorities in Zimbabwe. Uh, for now, I'm just going to finish my studies. I'm going to go through my economic studies. I want to become an economist so that I'll come and lead my people in Zimbabwe as a member of the parliament, either the House of Assembly or the Senate, considering my age at that time. Or lastly, maybe in the future, to become the president of the Republic of Zimbabwe. So my message to the rest of the young people out there, my fellow youth, I'm gonna say, do what it takes to become what you want. The seed of the future lies in the present. We are the architects of our own future as Zimbabweans. The seed of the future lies in our hands, my fellow Zimbabweans. Let's do what is right. Thank you.